I'm Brendan Cherry here, live with Mr. Timothy Bookout with uh, Corporate Sales. And Tim, uh, why don't you just tell us uh, how you got started here? Did you have any plans in college about what you wanted to do? Did you know in college? Uh, in college, I wanted just to basically get a job uh, outside of working for TGIF Fridays and, uh, <laughs> and make a little bit, uh, like make a little bit more money than I was. That's fair. That's real fair. That's no about one. it. Those were the career objectives. <laughs> Not work at TGI Fridays. <laughs> yeah. No offense to those people at TGI Fridays. Great starting job. Anyways, uh, I'm going to say, what is corporate sales for those at home who don't know and those interviewing who don't know? <laughs> yeah. Um, fair question. Uh, it took me a while to figure that out myself, but um, basically it's just the... Um, the face of experience to the corporate world. Um, obviously, we have a great network of millions of students and young candidates. Um, and really, um, there's a lot of interest to be a part of that, whether it's university, the students, the alumni, and of course, the employers gain exposure. Um, what corporate sales does is bring those clients within our community. And uh, there's a lot of ways that they can be within that, engage those candidates, um, and that's what we help them do. Okay, very good answer. When was the first time you ever sold something, and what was it? My first sale was a uh, post and search package to uh, to a search agency, which is not always uh, what you want to do. Um, that can be a little shady, but um, a sale is a sale, especially when it's a first sale and gets you going. Um, so after that, I, I you know, uh, the more legitimate sale was a targeted email. Um, um, so. Um, from then, there was, there's been too many, I can't even remember them all. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Could you sell me this here quarter for a dollar? You, you're going to buy that for me for a dollar? I'm asking. Could you do it? Well, yeah, you just asked. There you <laughs> go. I'll give me a dollar. Good point. <laughs> all right, next question. So you're also a member of the EBOA. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, EBOA is a group. I think it's been around, well, it's got a longer history, but uh, more recently it's been around for the last two years. Um, and it's just a... Um, uh, a group that represents the entire organization to the executive board. Um, there's a lot of things that we try to do um, as far as um, bringing everybody, every employee together, um, representing the needs or uh, what we've been hearing from the entire um, uh, experience, uh, employee staff. Uh, also to putting together social events so people will feel more um, of a family atmosphere at work. Um, there's a lot of things that we do. Um, upcoming, we have a, a run event, the J.P. Morgan corporate run. Um, but uh, most importantly, just making sure that the voice of every employee is heard from the executive level. Great. And then also passing down communication from the execs to uh, all the people with the experience. Sure. Um, what is it about your job that interests you? What kind of challenges do you have that get you going? Uh, how do you stay motivated? Um, the biggest thing that interests me is the people that work at Experience. Um, I love learning about uh, everyone that's there, um, being uh, a part of their lives, not only at work, but kind of knowing you know, what's going on in, in, in their lives outside of work. Uh, so talking with people is a huge uh, interest of mine. Uh, a lot of challenges, especially in sales. Um, so that also is a huge interest of mine. I love to be challenged. I love to uh, uh, be motivated in that competitive way. Um, so that atmosphere is really uh, uh, conducive to that, and I love it. Great. And uh, last cut, last couple questions. Uh, what is your favorite catchphrase, and do you believe in aliens? And if you do believe in aliens, which catchphrase would you say to the aliens? Okay. Um, Cowabunga dude. Cowabunga dude. All right. Very nice. Catchy. Um, and then alien. Yeah. Extraterrestrials, right? Yes, extraterrestrials. Yeah. Not illegal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely believe in illegal. Yeah, th those, those um, exist. Yeah, I've seen the movie E.T. You've yeah. seen it, right? So, I mean, that's proof right there. Um, and then if I saw them, right? I'd probably say Calabunga dude. <laughs> <laughs> right. If it's on camera, it must be true, right? It's true. All right, cool. Timothy Pookout with Corporate Sales.